Have you ever come across a film that effortlessly blends humor and horror? If you've ever watched The Fearless Vampire Killers, you'd know it's a unique cinematic experience. This 1967 movie, directed by Roman Polanski, is a delightful parody of vampire films, featuring quirky characters, a snowy Transylvanian backdrop, and a healthy dose of slapstick comedy. When was the first time you watched this movie, and do you have a cherished memory associated with it? Now, let's delve into some random facts about this film. The Fearless Vampire Killers is not only known for its humor but also for its impeccable set design and costumes. The movie also marked Sharon Tate's early acting career, who later tragically became one of Charles Manson's victims. The blend of horror and comedy in this film is a testament to Polanski's directorial skills, and it remains a cult classic for lovers of the genre. We would love to hear your stories and memories related to this movie. Do you have a cherished memory or a personal experience that this film brings to mind? Share your thoughts in the comments below. The Fearless Vampire Killers, directed by Roman Polanski in 1967, is a comedic horror film that offers a unique twist on the traditional vampire genre. The story follows Professor Abrancius and his bumbling assistant, Alfred, as they travel to a remote Transylvanian village in search of vampires. Their adventure takes a comical turn as they encounter eccentric characters, including the mysterious Sarah, who is kidnapped by the undead. The film's blend of horror and humor, coupled with its visually striking gothic atmosphere, sets it apart. Polanski's meticulous direction and his portrayal of Alfred make the movie memorable, while the film's iconic ballroom dance sequence adds a touch of whimsical horror. Although not a massive commercial success upon release, The Fearless Vampire Killers has since gained a cult following and left a lasting mark on popular culture, celebrated for its unique take on the vampire mythos and darkly comedic elements. The original format of the film was to be spherical widescreen. However, at the early stages of production, the format was changed to wider, anamorphic Panavision. This resulted in some of the spherical shots having to be refrained and cropped in order to be as wide as Panavision. This change in format had a significant impact on the visual composition of the movie, requiring adjustments to accommodate the new aspect ratio. The decision to shift from spherical widescreen to anamorphic Panavision added a unique dimension to the film's cinematography, contributing to its distinct visual style. This technical alteration highlights the attention to detail in the filmmaking process and the director's commitment to achieving a specific cinematic vision. It underscores the significance of the visual aspect in The Fearless Vampire Killers and how this decision played a crucial role in shaping the movie's final look. The format change may not be as well known as some other aspects of the film, but it provides valuable insight into the intricacies of filmmaking, making it a noteworthy point of discussion for those interested in the behind-the-scenes details of this 1967 horror comedy. It's an example of how even small technical decisions can have a profound impact on the overall cinematic experience. Amongst the ancestral portraits in the castle is a depiction of an ugly old woman inspired by a sketch of Leonardo da Vinci since the 18th century, frequently connected with Marguerite Maltash, Countess of Tyrol. This intriguing detail in the 1967 movie The Fearless Vampire Killers adds a layer of historical and artistic significance to the film's gothic atmosphere. Roman Polanski's meticulous direction and the film's unique blend of horror and humor have been celebrated, but this lesser-known fact reveals the depth of thought put into the set design. The inclusion of this artwork is a nod to the Countess of Tyrol and Da Vinci, offering a subtle historical connection within the movie's gothic world. While not as well known as other aspects of the film, this hidden gem of a detail showcases the attention to historical and artistic elements in the fearless vampire killers, adding another dimension to the movie's overall experience. It's a testament to the level of detail and thought that went into creating this cult classic. The 1967 movie The Fearless Vampire Killers had an Italian censorship visa number 50108, issued on October 20th, 1967. This certification allowed the film to be shown to Italian audiences. It's a piece of trivia that showcases the film's international reach and the regulatory process it underwent for its release. The movie, known for its unique take on the vampire genre, attracted viewers not only in its home country but also abroad. 
The Italian censorship visa is a historical marker of its distribution and reception. The final line of the film, Your Tiny Hand is Frozen, is a line from Act I of the Opera La Bohème. It's also the title of a short story by Robert Aikman. This iconic line adds a layer of cultural and artistic depth to the 1967 movie The Fearless Vampire Killers. It's a subtle nod to both opera and literature, showcasing the film's connection to broader artistic influences. The use of this line in the movie's closing moments leaves a lasting impression and is a testament to the thoughtful details woven into this cult classic. Sharon Tate's audition for the role in The Fearless Vampire Killers was far from ordinary. After two awkward dinners with director Roman Polanski, she was invited to his apartment, where he abruptly disappeared, only to reappear wearing a terrifying mask, causing Sharon to scream in terror. Despite the unconventional casting process, Sharon Tate won the role. As for the film's location, Roman Polanski initially wanted to shoot at a castle in Switzerland he had seen during a vacation. However, this proved impossible, so alternative locations in the Alps and studio shoots in England were used. While filming in the Alps, Polanski enlisted local artisans to craft numerous coffins for the movie. The sight of these coffins unnerved tourists in the area, leading hotels to reassure guests that the region had not been struck by a plague. Additionally, Ian Quarrier, who portrayed the gay vampire Herbert, had his voice dubbed by an uncredited Vladic Shabel. These behind-the-scenes anecdotes shed light on the unique and unconventional aspects of the production of The Fearless Vampire Killers, making it a fascinating piece of cinema history. A 1967 movie The Fearless Vampire Killers had its fair share of interesting behind-the-scenes stories. One of them involves Roman Polanski's dissatisfaction with the American version of the film. It was not only the title that was changed from Dance of the Vampires, but the movie was also cut by over 20 minutes. To make the plot clearer after these cuts, an animated sequence was added. Furthermore, the two leading actors, Jack McGowan and Polanski himself, had their voices dubbed by others. However, in Europe, Polanski's version of the film, under its correct title, was shown. The reason behind this title change remains a mystery, and it has led to confusion about the film's actual title in the UK. This alteration in the American release highlights the challenges faced in the film's distribution and editing process. It also shows how different versions of a movie can exist, causing potential confusion for audiences. The film's history is a testament to the complexities of the filmmaking industry, with directors and studios sometimes having differing visions for the final product. As we draw the curtains on this cinematic journey, I invite you to ponder your personal connection with the timeless masterpiece, The Fearless Vampire Killers from 1967. This cinematic gem, directed by the legendary Roman Polanski, has woven a tapestry of horror, humor, and romance that continues to captivate audiences through the ages. Whether you were swept away by the eerie yet enchanting winter landscapes, chuckled at Professor Abrancius' eccentricities, or felt your heart race as the vampire tales unfolded, the fearless vampire killers has left an indelible mark on the world of cinema. Perhaps it reminds you of a cozy evening with friends, a nostalgic family movie night, or a moment of solitude when you first discovered its charms. Now, I encourage you to share your cherished memories and thoughts about this cinematic treasure. Let your reflections and anecdotes flow, connecting with fellow enthusiasts and kindred spirits who have also been enchanted by this cinematic marvel. Your unique perspective, your personal memories, your thoughts, the all enrich the tapestry of appreciation for this classic film. So, take a moment to share your voice and become a part of the ongoing legacy of the fearless vampire killers. Thank you for your time and your enduring interest in this cinematic masterpiece. Your insights and recollections make this journey through film all the more captivating. Until next time, keep the magic of cinema alive.